Okay, let's continue. Heal your inner wounds. Unfortunately, not everyone gets a second chance after a heart attack. Paul Epstein, MD, who conducts a mind-body practice in Westport, Connecticut, and is the author of Happiness Through Meditation, Peter Pauper Press, found inspiration for his career and in integrative, in integrative medicine after his father died of a heart attack at the age of 39. Quote, he suffered from post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, from serving in World War II, says, says Epstein. Quote, we know that stress contributes to heart disease risk along with an unhealthy diet and lack of exercise. A heart attack can be an opportunity to explore the meaning and message behind the, the attack and use that as an opportunity for deeper healing, says Epstein. Quote, you want to think about what can I do to prevent another heart attack. It's important to look at what contributed to the development of heart disease. Research supports Epstein's approach. A study in the journal Circulation, for example, found links between childhood trauma and an increased risk of heart disease in adulthood. Adverse childhood experiences were also strongly associated with risk factors, factors, including smoking, obesity, depression, and physical inactivity. Adverse childhood experiences were also strongly associated with risk factors, including smoking, obesity, depression, and physical inactivity. Quote, the body bears the burden, says Epstein. Quote, the stress of childhood trauma could be living in that person in the form of anger or trauma. Time conceals, but it does not heal. This fact, this makes finding ways to cope with stress an essential part of preventive, preventive medicine. Stress, by the way, let's show you the, the magazine. This is the Energy Times. February 2014. Energy Times. Two February 2014. Okay, let's get back. If you want, in case you want to see it yourself. This makes finding ways to cope with stress an essential part of, a, of preventive medicine. Stress reduction affects you on a genetic level, says Epstein. Even if... Get to this, page 42, page 42, here we go. Even if you're predisposed to heart disease, lifestyle changes can change your gene expression and affect cellular resistance. A study in psycho, in psycho, Neuroendocrinology 214 found reduced levels of pro inflammatory genes after participants practiced eight hours of mindfulness meditation. Inflammation plays a role in the development of cardiovascular disease, making mindfulness practices such as meditation particularly relevant in reducing risk of a second heart attack. Quote, mindfulness shows a positive effect on the immune section, on the immune system, and blood pressure, said Epstein, says Epstein. Then we have here this on plant-based heart help. We can go through that in a minute or two. We'll show it here right now. Some people may even be genetically more sensitive to stress. According to stress in PLOS 1, 12, 18, 13, scientists at the Duke University School of Medicine reported a 38% increase of heart attack or death in patients with heart disease who carry this genetic trait. The findings suggest behavior modifications could play a role in reducing death and disability from heart attack. So behavior modification could play a role in reducing death and disability from 
a heart attack. Empowering questions. When Dee Dee Bonner's mother experienced a heart attack, Bonner realized she had no idea what to ask her mother's physicians. As a result, Bonner, a PhD, came up with the 10 best questions for recovering from a heart attack. Simon & Schuster. Bonner recommends asking your practitioner for specific information to ensure you or a loved one is getting the best possible care. Quote, how, do you ask a que how you ask a question is also important, says Bonner. Said, says Bonner. Many people are intimidated by doctors, and the doctors themselves are stressed out, overbooked, and typically give cookie-cutter advice to everyone. So first ask, quote, how is my heart attack different from others? Make your inquir inquiries open-ended instead of looking for a yes or no answer. For women, it's particularly important to ask about cardiac rehabilitation, says Bonner. Women do not go through cardiac rehab as much as men. But statistics on survival are staggeringly better than for those who do not do rehab. Other questions include, did I really have a heart attack? Other conditions can cause the same symptoms. What is the extent of the damage? Know your e ejection fraction, a, mem a, a, a measure of the heart's pumping power. What lifestyle changes can I do now to help myself? When should I come back and how often should I see you? What warning signs should I look for that might indicate a reoccurrence. At what point should I call you? In addition, Bonner recommends asking a, quote, magic question, a smart query. People, people rarely think to ask, such as, quote, what's the latest thing you've learned about my current condition? This ensures your practitioner is up on the latest techniques and information. Your practitioner isn't the only person you should engage in discussion. Quote, consider asking other members of the staff, especially if your doctor holds a position that limits his time, suggests Bonner. Quote, some nurses may be more knowledgeable or articulate in talking to patients and can be better skilled at explaining. You want to view your medical team almost as partners with you, she says. If your doctor doesn't like these questions, you may want to search out a different doctor. Treat it cardiac incident as a wake-up call. Making the necessary lifestyle changes can help you stave off another trip to the emergency room and let you enjoy renewed well-being. Let's take a look at this plant-based help. Eating more fresh produce is a standard advice for people who have suffered a heart attack, and with good reason. Study after study have shown the benefits of a, of a diet based primarily on plants. Key plant components are now available in supplement form to help round out a heart-healthy diet. Among them are plant sterols, also known as phy phytosterols, found in oils, nuts, and other natural sources. These substances, including beta-cytosterol, Campesterol and stigmasterol are, as their names indicate, plant versions of the cholesterols found in animals. Plant sterols interfere with the absorption of their animal-based cousins, lowering blood cholesterol levels. Plant sterols have shown additional benefits in laboratory animals fed high-fat diets, such as reducing intestinal inflammation, and preventing arterial plaque development, molecular nutrition, and food research. Online, 1914. Arthrosclerosis, 1213. Resveratrol is one of the best known plant substances found, found to boost human health. Present in grapes, wine, and herbs such as Polygonum cuspidatum. Resveratrol promotes relaxation of blood vessels and helps make blood less sticky, both of which improve blood flow 
as well as protecting arteries from injury and plaque formation. It may also activate adiponectin, a hormone that plays a vital role in insulin regulation. Journal of Biological Chemistry 1711. So resveratrol, resveratrol, resveratrol. That's a very important thing. So that's in in grape juice and uh, grapes, wine, and herbs. I think uh, grape juice also. So uh, here we have that. So okay, we'll keep it a short video. Thank you very much again for uh, for tuning in, and we hope to see you again soon. Thanks a lot. Take care.